Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. In this video, we're gonna be talking about my favorite shoes in KD's entire shoe line. So a little disclaimer, I haven't played in the KD1 and the KD2, but I've pretty much played in every other shoe in his entire shoe line, including pretty much all of the elite models as well, right? Uh, so yeah, KD's entire shoe line, he has 16 freaking basketball shoes, which is amazing. You know, I don't, there's not a lot of people that can say that, you know, even having 10 single shoes is a lot and there's not a lot of people that can say that either, you know? Uh, but yeah, the KD16 of course did just come out or not just, it came out a couple months ago. Uh, so I kind of wanted to like, go back into his entire shoe line. I mean, when he first started, KD's shoe line was for like budget, right? It was a little bit cheaper. Uh, but then once it got to like the KD8, the KD8 I remember was like 180 bucks and it was super duper expensive. And it was very expensive until like a couple shoes later and then they cut back on the price and they kind of left it at 150 bucks, 160 bucks, uh, which I think is awesome, but still kind of a little, a little expensive, but it makes sense because it's KD, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be talking about like the best performers. Uh, and obviously this is all my personal opinion, you know? So if you disagree with the list, that's fine. Just tell us what your list would be down in the comment section below. But we're gonna be talking about the best looking, right? Best aesthetics, ugliest, worst performers and best performers. And I'm gonna do like a top five because uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna try to keep the video a little bit sh on the shorter side. If it was like a top 10 with for like all four categories, it would be a little too long, right? So uh, let's start it off with the ugliest basketball shoes in KD's entire shoe line, uh, which of course I think everyone would agree. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but in my personal opinion, where is it? Where is it? The KD14, which is super duper sad because I love this shoe. This is such a nice shoe. It's such a nice performer, but uh, yeah, so not good looking <laughs> in my personal opinion. Uh, this, I don't know what's going on here and the actual upper pattern, this is so bad as well. I believe this pattern was on like every KD14, right? And the strap looks terrible. I mean, this part looks pretty cool, right? But if you look on the medial side, this, what is this? You know what I mean? So not the best looking shoe. And then we got the KD11. The KD11 also was really uh, ugly in my personal opinion. So uh, yeah, I mean, it just looks like a riding shoe. And also I hated this part, especially this plastic part where your Achilles is. It rubbed my Achilles raw and it kind of bled a little bit. Um, but yeah, we have the fly knit full length zoom. So uh, yeah, these are the two ugliest shoes. I don't know, what do you guys think looks uglier? The 14 or the 11? I don't know. Um, but yeah, there <laughs> there is the ugliest shoes. And I think every other shoe in this entire shoe line looks pretty good. Besides, I, I don't really like the one or the two either that much you know uh so there's that and now looking at the best looking shoes in my personal opinion let's start it off with the kd9 the kd9 is a great looking shoe uh and i love i love the fly knit it looks awesome and also i love uh the zoom unit it just looks great you know what i mean and also the, some of the colorways that have come out in with the kd9 uh it was just really really nice so uh, the kd9 is definitely number five right moving on to number four we have the kd7 the kd7 also is a, an amazing looking shoe and also the colorways that came out with the kd7 were amazing uh i love the midfoot strap right the midfoot strap, strap and also i love the swoosh here on the side of the toe box right here that looks really really good um and also like the air max you guys remember this it's like air max but with zoom this is a really good looking like i just love the duality as well with like the deposit material and then the mesh here in the toe box so uh the kd7 definitely amazing amazing looking shoe especially with the colorways that came out all right next we got the KD3, surprisingly, I really like the KD3. And this is, of course, the retro version of it. And uh, yeah, it's a great looking shoe, in my personal opinion. It, it looks it looks old school. It looks like it has that old school vibe. I mean, it is an old school shoe, you know? Um, but just, I really like that look to it, you know what I mean? And I love the fly, well, you guys remember the fly wire, especially with the Hyperdunks, right? The fly wire here that's kind of exposed underneath synthetic. And they're using like leather material as well. This is a great looking shoe, in my personal opinion. Also pretty good performer, you know what I mean? Especially for that time, you know? Uh, so there's the KD3. Next, we got the KD4. The KD4 looks absolutely amazing. The colorways that have come out with the KD4 are also absolutely amazing. And next year, the KD4 Nerf colorway is coming out, uh, supposedly, right? It's a rumor, but yeah, I love the midfoot strap. I really, really like how this uh, looks, you know, and also just the overall shoe, the KD logo here in the back. This is an absolutely amazing looking shoe in my personal opinion. Uh, so yeah, that's number two. And moving on to number one, we got 
the KD6. The KD6 is definitely one of my favorite shoes aesthetically uh, in his entire shoe line. This shoe looks freaking amazing. I love it. I love the swoosh here. I love the fly wire, you know, the exposed fly wire on the synthetic material. I love the design of the tongue. Remember like, kind of like the flappy tongue that they have going on here in the KD6. I don't know what it is. I love the colorways that come out as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, probably people will disagree maybe. I don't know, but I, I really like how his older shoes look. His newer shoes, not, it's not my favorite. You know, the 11, the 14, the 15, the 16. I definitely feel like his older shoes look a lot better but performance wise his newer shoes are off the charts you know what i mean so definitely number one is one of my favorites the kd6 this is my favorite looking shoe in his entire shoe line and now moving on to best performance right and obviously this is also just my personal opinion but as his shoe line progressed you know they're using better tech because his shoe line got a little bit more expensive and also uh, as time progressed the tech got better, you know what I mean? So cushion got better. Uh, they're using lighter, but also um, just the supportive materials, you know, comparing it to like, you know, the synthetic material, you know what I mean? So num number five, in my personal opinion, is the KD9. The KD9 is really, really nice, but it's not higher on the list because the traction, uh, it was prone to picking up a little bit of dust, you know what I mean? And also the support wasn't the best. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't the best because there's really no lateral counter, especially here in like the forefoot area. Uh, but other than that, I mean, the traction when you were playing on a clean court was really, really good. And I love this full length zoom unit. Remember when this setup came out and I remember when the first time I tried it, I was like, yo, this is so nice, it's so bouncy. I really, really loved playing in the shoes of so the KD9. Uh, I really, really liked it. All right, coming in at number four, we got the KD5, which is an old school shoe, but I really like playing in the shoe because it's just like a really nice overall no BS shoe. You know what I mean? Like you put it on, nothing. it's nothing crazy, you know what I mean, in any particular category, but it's just really, really nice, right? So the traction, once you break it in, really good. You know, you have great stops. The cushion also isn't amazing. You have a four foot zoom unit and then like Air Max, I don't really like, but you have pretty good court feel. It's responsive. And then the upper, like once you break in this fuse material, I know a lot of people don't like this like synthetic fuse material, uh, but honestly, I don't, I don't really mind it. I like it, you know? And once you break it in, it gets nice. It's thin, it conforms to your foot very well, but it's also super duper supportive. And so I really like that as well. And I love the, the way the KD5 looks too. You know what I mean? So it, it, this was number six for me, you know? But yeah, the KD5 definitely, it was a really good performer in my personal opinion. And then moving on to number three, we got the KD6. The KD6 also really, really nice performer. Same thing as the KD5, no BS. Nothing amazing as far as like the cushion goes or like, you know, the, the material isn't super comfortable, but the traction, once you break it in, is really nice. The I also really like the, I, I believe it was a top-loaded zoom unit here in the forefoot. It's just a nice little bounce, you know? And the Air Max here in the heel, we have a little bit of compression from the Air Max. And then the upper is super minimal and very, very thin. It's just, it's a really lightweight shoe and support's great. So it's just a really nice shoe, you know, like that I really enjoyed playing in it when, I, when it first came out because it was just like, no, I didn't really have to worry about this shoe, you know what I mean? Uh, so the KD6 is no, coming in at number three. Number two, we are getting into a little bit more new school shoes, right? So we got the KD13. The KD13 is absolutely freaking amazing. The traction is top tier. One of the best performing tractions of his entire shoe line. Really, really good stops. Amazing performance on dust as well. Like it bites through dust really well. And we, of course we have a full length zoom strobe unit, which I really do like. I didn't really like how they kept the, the heel or like this midsole really stiff. So it's a little clunky here in the heel, but the cushion is still super nice with the full length zoom strobe unit. And then the upper is super nice. It's thin, it's supportive. It's a little cheap feeling, you know what I mean? But it got the job done on foot. Support's great. Uh, I do like the mid cut as well. It's a great looking shoe too. You know, the KD13 is definitely up there. It's, a, it's one of the better looking shoes in this entire shoe line, right? So uh, yeah, the KD13 is really, really nice. And then I guess like, Consolation prize a little bit. I'll put the KD15 in there a little bit. Uh, I didn't like it as much because the, I did experience a little bit of heel slippage, but it's still a really nice shoe, but performs very similarly to like the KD13 and also the KD14, which the KD14 is definitely my favorite shoe in his entire shoe line for performance. The best, it's a goat shoe in my personal opinion. Amazing, amazing shoe. Traction also is just as good as the KD13. Amazing bite on a clean court. Also, Bicycle does extremely, extremely well. And then the Cushion, also we have full length zoom strobo, right? But it's better than the KD13 because like I said, you know, the KD13 is a little clunky in the heel, but with this Kushlon midsole, we have a lot of 
compression here in the heel, which is super duper nice. The upper, although it's super cheap, it doesn't feel great for quality. It's thin, it's supportive, it conforms to your foot very well. I had no issues with support. Um, and it just sucks because I don't like how the shoe looks, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it performs extremely, extremely well. And I love, I love the shoe, right? And uh, so yeah, that's for performance. As far as worst performance goes, uh, I, I really never had any huge issues performance wise in his entire shoe line. Like they're all really really, really nice. But I really disliked, where is it? The KD7. The KD7, because of this uh, unit here in the heel, I think it's because of that, you know what I mean? Because it has a good amount of compression here in the heel. And I rolled my ankle like two or three times in like a week or two. It wasn't terrible, obviously, because I kept playing, but I did roll my ankle a little bit, you know what I mean? So uh, I did feel really unsafe when I was playing in the KD7, which I didn't like, right? And also the KD11, I didn't really like all too much either. I mean, it's still overall really nice, but the lateral support wasn't great, right? There's really no lateral uh, counters here, so my foot would come out of the footbed a little bit. And also, like I said, with this rubber thing here in the heel, it was very uncomfortable on my Achilles. Um, and so, yeah, I didn't really like that either. And then the traction wasn't the best on dust. It did pick up a good amount of dust, if I remember correctly. So uh, the KD11 and the KD7, performance-wise, not my favorites in his entire shoe line. But anyways, uh, of course, like I said, this is all just my personal opinion and my experiences from playing in each shoe uh, of his entire shoe line, right? But anyways, again, tell us what your list would be down in the comment section below for whatever category, performance, like best performance, worst performance, best looking, worst looking uh, down in the comment section below. And also, if you guys do want to cop the KD16, I'll try to leave the free link in the description box as well. The KD16 is on sale for like Cyber Monday, Black Friday, and some colorways are on sale for like 120 bucks. Um, but anyways, that about concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.